and welcome to today's video on the She Talk Systems channel. I am your host Nicola Melinda and I am excited to show you how your clients are able to use the Dubsado client portal. So I'm going to do a quick screen share and walkthrough. If you've seen my previous video of a walkthrough of the Dubsado client portal, this is pretty much just a refresh and just showing you exactly how it works for your clients. So let's start in. If you're new to my channel, definitely hit subscribe and drop a like as well. We drop a new video every single week and we talk all things Dubsado and ClickUp. So we are inside of Dubsado and I'm going to show you how you can access the portal. So for clients who are you are using the portal with, you definitely want to ensure that it is activated. So you'll want to come into the client project and click the arrow down here. The portal is found on the left hand side of the client project screen and you'll be able to click the arrow. If it's not active, you will see the words in red to say it is not active and just be sure to make sure it's activated. Now you can do this through the workflows, you can automate this, or if you're doing it manually, you can do this here as well. Now, when you do go to view the portal, this is how you can open up the client portal yourself. You can send it in an email as well to your clients. So if they say that they've lost their logins, you can just pop them over an email. And this is a canned email that automatically appears. You can literally just pop that across with instructions on how they can log into their portal. So let's go in here and log in. So I'm using my test account and we have a portal that is ready for our clients to access. We have information that is inside of the portal. Now, what's the information that your clients can actually find inside of the portal? It will be anything to do with their paperwork, anything that is attached to their project in working with you. So any unsigned contracts, proposals, incomplete forms, payments, invoices, and they'll also be able to manage their appointments inside of the portal as well. So if your clients have booked any appointments with you, they'll be able to manage that inside of the portal area. Now they can see your contact information. So my email address is there. They can see what unread emails there are, what incomplete forms there are, and what open invoices there are as well. So as a quick walkthrough, I won't go into too much details, but your dashboard essentially is going to show what is needed for the client. So what's actually open for them to complete. So if we click on their projects, now if you have clients that have quite a diff few different projects that are open with you, then you'll have access to see all of the information. They'll be able to see all of this information themselves. So if we were to select a specific project that this client has with us, you'll see that the information on screen is now different. So we've got different projects which will reflect different pieces of information. So this is something to keep in mind. If you have one client and they work on different projects, inside of Dubsado, then they will be able to go through and select the right project so they can see the right information. Now, the reason why this happens is that every project that you open up for your client is different and it's going to have different forms, different invoices, different contracts attached to it. For example, you can only use one contract per project in Dubsado. So you definitely want to ensure that you are naming your projects in the right way so your clients can also find that out as well. So here we can see the appointments that have been booked, any forms that are attached or complete, incomplete. Also, if there are any external links such as a Google Drive or a course portal, perhaps if you're a coach, if you also upload PDFs, you can also upload one time PDFs or forms. And the way that you would do that is inside of the client project, we'll head over to the forms tab and in the drop down menu, you can add a new form. So this is where if we scroll right to the bottom, you're able to create a one-time link or you can actually upload a new PDF as a form as well. So just a couple of useful hacks for you if you do want to ensure you are able to use information in the portal that's not necessarily attached to Dubsado. So for example, if you use Calendly and you want clients to be able to access their Calendly appointment links, just pop it in as a one-time link to the client portal there.
So they're also able to track communications. So we have our emails tab as well. This is where clients can track any emails that have been sent through and they're able to also update their profile. So your clients can come in here, click on the settings and update their profile information. They can add in address information, company information, alternative contacts and social media links and just hit save when they're ready. So the portal is designed to give your clients a space to go and help you to organize all of your admin, all of your paperwork in one place. And what this does is really eliminate the back and forth, things getting lost inside of emails and the inbox and any of those questions where your clients might say, I've lost access to this form. Where is it? How do I find it? You can literally say, hey, log into your client portal and you'll be able to grab it under your projects tab. Like I said, this is a really really quick walkthrough on using the client portal and as you can see we have branded it out with our aesthetic so if you do want to actually customize your portal I do have another video which I will link here I'll link in this video or link below in the description somewhere you'll be able to grab access to that video and you'll be able to see how I rebranded my client portal in Dubsado but I will also drop a link to for you to catch my CEO system design kit which is my Canva template bundle to help you redesign your Dubsado portal and your forms and more. So definitely check out the link. I'll pop that in the description for you as well. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you do enjoy this video, please be sure to drop a comment or like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also come into the She Talk Systems Facebook group where you can join us, you can collaborate and connect with other service providers and get more great training. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.